All right, you guys, I thought I would take you on a Friday the 13th spooky shop with me. I haven't done that for a while. I stopped and got my Starbucks. I am ready to go. The first stop, we're going to go into Home Goods and see what they have left. I doubt there's going to be much Halloween. I need some other items from there, and I'm sure there's going to be Christmas. But I will show you what I can. Let's go inside. All right, here we are in Home Goods. Honestly, you guys, I am a little bit disappointed in Home Goods at the way they have all the Halloween decor. It's like they just threw it up on the table. It's all kind of mixed together, not very organized. I mean, it looks worse than a garage sale, if I'm being honest. It made me not even really want to look at it. So not a lot left. Lots of candles though. And I thought this broom was kind of cute. I didn't want to mess with it though. I didn't really need it. Um, lots of, it looks like the slim pickings and the leftovers of Halloween basically. I thought these little planters were cute. They had little mini Christmas trees in them. These little pots are a total anthropology dupe. At Anthropology, the small pot retails for around $48, and as you saw, those were $29. Now, I will say they did have a very good collection of candles left. I was a little surprised at that. Um, these skulls, I would have gotten a couple of those, except the other two look like they had actually melted in the packaging. So... And also what is really deceiving is on the Halloween decor, they have big signs that say there's a holiday savings and um, there's no sale on any Halloween decor. So it's very deceiving. This ghost was so cute. I did not get it, but hopefully someone will buy the ghost for a child's room or for their decor. And this ghost lantern was so adorable. I do not need any more Halloween decor. I actually came into Home Goods looking for a new shower curtain because I'm tired of the shower curtain I have and I needed a new liner. And just to look at any Halloween decor that might have caught my eye. Now I came across the blanket and pillow selection in Home Goods and they still did have quite a few pillows and blankets. I didn't want to pull everything out. I love the white, furry, fluffy blankets. I think they're so nice and perfect for Christmas time and winter time. They're so cozy. I have one. I did like this Lucky Brand blanket, but it seemed really thin, and my cats would snag the heck out of this blanket if they clawed it, so I did not get it. I never was able to find the ghost blanket I wanted this season, but I know I'll probably see it next season. I can't find everything I want each year. This year was pretty good for me. I got a lot of things that I had wanted. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And in going through my Halloween decor and decorating, I have so much decor, you guys. It's like, I decorate so much inside my house and I sit back and it's like why am I decorating so much my kids are all grown my daughter lives in California no one's coming over but then I guess I have to remember I'm doing it for myself I did take a little bit of footage here of the Christmas decor I didn't want to not show Christmas because that's going to be the next big thing everyone is decorating for they did have some cute stuff for my Christmas decor, I used to decorate red, black, and white, and now I do a lot more vintage, like this tear tray I thought was kind of cute. You could use it for Thanksgiving, but I'm more the warmer boho vintage um, colors for Christmas, and I've changed a lot of my style for the Christmas holiday, I guess I should say. I went into the Dollar Tree as well because I was completely out of batteries and I get my batteries at the Dollar Tree. So I decided to take a little bit of footage of what they had left. 
And if you're looking at doing a Halloween craft with your kids still, or making a boo bag for your kids, they still had a pretty good, decent amount of things you can get for the Halloween season. But I will say Home Goods is pretty much done and they're on to Christmas, which is so sad. Again, I can't believe how fast this Halloween season has gone, but we, I'm grateful because it started early. I think I started finding stuff for Halloween in the middle of June. So that was really good for this Halloween season. Now next, I decided to go into TJ Maxx because again, I was looking for a shower curtain. I saw one I kind of liked at Home Goods, but I did not end up getting it. I like this skull. I thought it was very plain and basic. I did not get it, but now looking back and thinking about it, it is kind of that vintage boho style I do like, but I tend to um, not purchase as much now that we're at the end and almost Halloween, just because I don't need any more. Also, this is Michael's. I did want to stop into Michael's because I wanted some more of that garland. I am finishing up my office, decorating and making it spooky. My office is going to kind of be a um, mansion, vintage, like a haunted mansion vibe. So I will have that video coming out pretty soon actually um i'm not sure if i'm gonna make it my spooky sunday if i don't make it my spooky sunday it will be posted next week but out of all the stores i did go to i will say that michael's had the most decor left which was really surprising to me because i feel like they had that additional coupon off their sale items about a week ago a week and a half ago Maybe it was two weeks ago. So I am still surprised to see how much Halloween decor they still have left. So they still have a very good amount of items. So I'm just trying to give everything a once over to show you guys what they have left. And look, they still have that vintage looking frame, not the oval round one but the square one and if you can get that frame for 50 percent off that's a really good deal and they have i like i said i feel like michael's as far as halloween decor at least in my area had the best amount of decor left so i think they should start marking halloween decor down honestly um michael's has their pumpkins you can carve those are 60 percent off I feel like they should just make all the Halloween 60% off. Um, here's another skull that I liked. It's kind of like the one that was at TJ Maxx, kind of that boho style. But I did not get any more Halloween decor. As I said, I was just really looking for that garland that I really liked. And I was able to find one, but it was out of the package. And I don't even think it was the full garland. So they gave it to me actually for $4 because it wasn't priced and it was the last one they had. So I really scored on that deal. Like I said, I will do a little haul at the end of this video. Now, I was really surprised at the light up decor they had. They had some more of those crows that I had gotten a long, long time ago and I need to pull those out. I have not put those in my decor at all. And when I saw those today, that reminded me that I still have those. And then I have those books I bought that move. So I have a few more items that I do want to put out and find places for. But they did have a good selection, as you can see. And I apologize if you hear, like, heavy breathing in the background. My dog Zoe is literally laying right next to me, and she is in a deep sleep and she is All snoring right, guys, here's my haul there's a few other items that i have them put away i just can't remember what i did with them but i will tell you about them so this is the garland that i got that was four dollars i love this garland if you can ever get it on clearance it is very nice garland and you guys i know i said a bazillion times 
I was not going to get these spider crystal pillows from Target, but I ended up ordering them actually because they go so well with my brown leather couches. So to go kind of with the Halloween decor out here, I ordered them and I was kind of disappointed because one came snacked. But luckily because Target is so good, they refunded me and told me to keep the one. So even though it's snagged, I got one for free. The other one was fine. But I just think that they're really cool and they go with kind of that vintage vibe that I was telling you that I really liked. The other thing I got was I've always wanted an orange and black check flannel. I've had this flannel in my Amazon shopping cart since last summer and I never bought it. Um, I ended up getting it in Prime Day deals and I also got these mice in Prime Day deals to stick on the walls. They were actually different than what I had thought. I wanted the sparkly ones and I accidentally got these, but that's okay. I'm gonna put them around my house and see what my cats do. And the other mice stickers that you saw, if you ever watched my original Timu haul video I did before I was sponsored by them, I did a Timu video like a couple months before my sponsorship. I purchased some wall stickers with mice. I'm gonna use those for Christmas time. So, and then at Home Goods, I did get this Luminara candle. These are expensive, you guys. So if you can find these, grab them because they're a good deal and it flickers. And the other two, like I said earlier, there's candle wax all on the side of the box. This was the only one that it looked like it didn't melt. So I figured this would be really cool. And then they had some skeleton ribbon. I got two things of that. And also this. I got all of these items at Home Goods, as well as my shower curtain liner. And then I did find a shower curtain. Again, going with that more vintage vibe. It's kind of a faded roses. I hope my boyfriend likes it. Right now I have kind of a boho striped design one in the bathroom, but I've had it in there for like a year. And yes, I always change the liner out, but same shower curtain for over a year. I've just gotten really bored with it. So time for a change. And then the cool thing that I got at Target. So I got the pillows from Target and I got this light from Target. There's something else I got from, oh, and I got a Christmas present from my daughter from Target, but I don't wanna say what that is just in case she comes across this video. So just know I got the two pillows and a Target order and then I got this. Now I had seen this on one of my earlier videos and I had wanted it, but I never came across it in stores. Isn't that so cool? Sorry, light warning if it's too bright. I should have said that first. But look at how it glows on the wall. It's just so cool. I just don't like the idea that it plays music. Again, light warning, you guys. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. How they had it advertised on their website was they had it inside of a fireplace and it looked really, really cool. So I was very excited to find that because again, I never saw it in store and it just looks like that, it's a globe. So super happy about that. Now the other things I got off Amazon for Prime Days, I got the shirt, the mice, I got a laptop stand, which you guys will see in my spooky office decorate with me and I also got the hanging candles with the wand how you can turn the lights on with the wand and then I got a strand of starlight so um that is all I got from Amazon Prime Days 
Oh, and then I got this crystal ball thing with this gold stand, but that, unfortunately, it says I'm not going to be getting until like the middle of November. So, anyways, this is my little haul. The last haul of Halloween, which is so sad. I will have a few more decorating videos. I have some Michael Myers stuff coming up. So please make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. I still wanted to do a giveaway, you guys. But to make it worth my while, I want to get to 2,000 subscribers. I have more than one gift to send out to people. So there's going to be more than one chance to win. But I don't want to do the giveaway until I get to 2,000 subscribers. If I don't get to 2,000 subscribers, it's not worth it to me to do the giveaway. So, I mean, it's not that it's not worth it to me, but it's at my expense and I'm not working and I'm, you know, trying to get disability because of my health. So it's a lot for me. So I need to make it worth my while and get to that 2,000 subscribers. I do want to give back to you guys, but I want to get to that 2,000 subscribers. Now, if I hit 2,000 subscribers in November, I'll still send out the Halloween items that I have set aside because you can always use them. And I have really cool Halloween stuff, you guys. So it can be a Halloween Christmas gift or a Halloween gift in November. So please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and help me get to that 2,000 subscribers. All right, you guys, until the next video, Happy haunting.